in the last few videos, we proved uh, the sum of the first n natural numbers. That means if we want to add from 1 to n, n is the nth term of uh, the natural numbers. The formula is s times s is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. And uh, I proved it starting with this formula that is n squared minus n minus 1 squared. So we want to prove now in this video how would you find or what's the formula to find the sum of squares of the first n natural numbers. So let me erase this. Okay. Okay, so. I gave you the hint in the last video that this is how you start the formula. So let me delete this and also delete this. Delete. Okay. So let me write the formula again. N cubed minus N minus 1 cubed. So we are defining our S as 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus N squared. So we start with like this, so we know uh, we'll have to simplify this n cube minus n minus 1 the whole cube. So this is equal to n cube minus n minus 1 times n minus 1 the whole cube. So this is n cube minus, you can you also use the binomial formula, which is n minus 1 times the square n minus 1 squared is n squared minus 2n plus 1. Okay, so I will leave for you to expand this. And I say sim expand and simplify. If you expand and simplify this, you will have n cubed minus 3n squared plus 2n minus 1. You can also use the binomial expansion formula to get this. Okay, so. If you expand this further, this is n cubed minus n cubed, because n minus is sitting out, you'll have plus 3n squared minus 3n plus 1. Okay, so here, let's, so we can say n cubed minus n minus 1, the whole cube, is equal to 3n squared because this and this get cancelled. So this is 3n squared minus 3n plus 1. We're going to use the same strategy. Okay, so this is the formula and this is what we're going to use. Okay, now using this formula, let us put start with n as 1. If n is 1, I can write 1 cubed minus 0 cubed. n minus 1 means 1 less than n. So if n is 1, n minus 1 would be 0. So 1 cubed minus 0 cubed, which we know is 1, would be 3 times 1 squared minus 3 times 1 plus 1. Does it make sense? So this is 3 minus 3 gets cancelled. This is 1. What if it is 2 cubed minus 1 cubed? We know the answer is 8. Does it... Uh, uh, sit here properly. So this is your n is 2 here. So this is 3 times 2 squared minus 3 times 2 plus 1. My 2 looks a bit awkward. 3 times 2 plus 1. So let's confirm. So using bed math, this is 4 times 3 is 12. 12 minus 6 is 6 plus 1 is 7. That also is working. So if it is 3 cubed minus 2 cubed, which is 27 minus 8. 27 minus 8 is 19. I think so. So which is 3 times 3 squared minus 3 times 3 plus 1. Okay, so this is 27 minus 8. This is 27 minus 8. Okay, so if you continue this pattern, we can write n cubed minus n minus 1, the whole cube, you already know the formula, would be 3 times, 3 times n squared minus 3 times 1 plus 1. So now we're going to add all these terms. 
So going to add this plus this plus this. We're adding the whole thing. So if we add the whole thing, what will happen? This plus one cube and minus one cube will get cancelled. Plus two cube and minus two cube will cancel. This plus three cube, and you'll have a minus three cube sitting here. And you'll have minus n cube, and this you'll have n minus one sitting here. So what remains is n cube minus zero cube. Would that equal to on the right hand side? You can, if you look at this, when you add all this, if you add all this, what will happen? You can factor the three out, and you have one squared plus two squared plus three squared plus dot 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 plus n squared. And if you factor the minus three out from the next term, you'll have one plus two plus three plus dot 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 plus n and this would be we're adding how many n ones we're adding one n lots of one so this is plus n times one okay so we're almost there uh, see i should have cancelled this this was an example okay so let me delete that okay so now we'll do a bit of algebra now so this is n cube is equal to 3 times s. This is s what we defined. We started with s as 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus n squared. So this is 3 times s minus 3 times. This is the sum from 1 to n. In the last video I proved the formula for this is n times n plus 1 over 2 plus n times 1 is n. So we can say n cube is equal to 3s minus 3n, I'm just simplifying this, times n plus 1 over 2 plus n. So I'm going to make this the subject. So, so I can say this is n cube. I'm taking away n from both sides. So we'll have n cube minus n squared and adding this to both sides. So uh, we'll have 3n times n plus 1. No, this is n cube. So this is n cube minus n. Okay. Plus taking, add, uh, taking away n from this side, you'll have, have minus n. And if you add this to this side, you have to add to this side. So this would be plus 3n times n plus 1 over 2 is equal to 3s. So let's simplify this a little more. So what can we do here? Can we factor n here? If you factor n out, we'll have n squared minus 1 plus 3n times n plus 1 over 2 is equal to 3s. So again, I can factorize this. So this is n plus 1 times n minus 1 plus 3n times n plus 1 over 2 is equal to 3s. Okay, so what can we do? What can we factor out? We've got n plus n times n plus 1 sitting here, and we've got n times n plus 1 sitting here. So if we factor the n times n plus 1 out, you'll have n minus 1 from here, plus 3 over 2 is equal to 3s. Okay, so what will happen? So this is n times n plus 1. Now, I want, uh, I want a 2 here, or so can I write this as 2? 2 times n minus 1 over 2 plus 3 over 2 is equal to 3s. So this is n times n plus 1 times 2n minus 2 plus 3 over 2. Making the common denominators and adding the numerators. Okay. 
So we're almost there. So this is n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. 2n plus 1 is equal to 3n. Now divide it over 2, of course. Now dividing both sides by 3, you can write n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6 is equal to x. So this is a very neat formula. You want to add from 1 squared to any number of squares to say even 100 squared, you can find it so easily. So let's check this formula. So let me rewrite the formula. S is equal to n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 divided by 6 is the formula to add from 1 squared to n squared. So let us add from 1 squared to 10 squared. So let's take an example. You want to add from 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared. I want to add up to 10 squared. So my n is, n is 10 here. So let me add it, use the formula here. So n is 10, because I'm adding up to 10 squared. So your s would be 10 times, n plus 1 is 11 times, 2n plus 1 is 21, 2 times 10 is 20 plus, divided by 6. So let me simplify this. So this is 2 times 5 times 11 times 3 times 7 over 6. I don't want to use calculator as far as possible. So this is 2 times 3 is 6, and the 6 gets cancelled. So this is 55 times 7. 55 times 7 is 350 plus 350 plus 35, which is 385. So if you add from 1 squared to 10 squared, you get 385. So let us uh, use a calculator. Okay, so uh, okay, so you can check that yourself. If you add from one square to ten square, your answer would be 385. Now I want to give give you a challenge. I will make this video if you can't do it. What if you have you want to add from one cube to n cube? One cube plus two cube plus three cube. You want to add up to n cube. The s would be, this is something that I want you to prove it to yourself, would be n times n plus 1 divided by 2 the whole squared. If you add from 1, if you want to add from 1 cube to n cube, the sum, the formula would be n times n plus 1 divided by 2 the whole squared. 